Hi guys and welcome to yet another very exciting Adobe Audition tutorial and in this tutorial we will teach you how to uh, apply fade in or fade out to more than one track in multi-track session. The fade in are applied by the same icon or this square box which is, is the same just like in the waveform. When we grab this icon and drag it like this yellow line appears and the fade in is applied like that okay and the same is for the fade out and if you bring your icon down it makes a, a negative linear value of fade in or if you bring it up it makes it a positive linear fade in so it depends on you on your choice which sort of fade in you want to create but in a multi track session if you want to make a you know fade in or fade out of more than two tracks you just select them both and then drag on their icon and as you can see both of their you know fade in and fade out or would occur uh, at the same time and also you can give them their positioning whether that be positive or negative the curve of their lines would be the same okay that's so far that's so good because this is really useful especially in a case if you want uh, more than one track to have fade ins and fade out and you want them to match with each other and then in doing it individually and receiving that you will be able to match the other one with it also is a very difficult task but if the tracks are not aligned at the one end like this um, most of the time the clips are in the tracks are you know uh, 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 either they are move uh, a little bit ahead of, or a little bit beyond of the other track just like this side of the tracks are so how do you apply the you know uh, fade in or, or fade out in here so uh, the theory is the same that you grab onto this icon and then you drag it but as you can see uh, when I'm dragging this icon only the fade out is applied to this track, clip or audio clip, not to these uh, clips in these tracks. And the reason for that is that it wants to match the Adobe Audition wants to match the fade out of this clip with these. So when uh, that means that if the till our icon reaches this icon, and then this icon fade out will be, you know, starts like this. As you can see, now this icon fade out is started. And now if we go a little bit more, this icon fade out is also started. And if we go even more, this icon, this brown clip icon, uh, is a fade out icon is also started. And the reason for this is that, that it wants to be cons uh, constant with the fade outs of all the clips in all the tracks. Because uh, when the fade out of this uh, completes, if they are not, uh, you know, uh, exactly the same with the other, you know, this will fade out and it would seem like the song is ending, but this uh, track or this audio clip in this track will be playing at full volume, which will not sound that good. So, in order to fix that uh, problem, uh, what Adobe Audition does is that uh, the uh, fade out or fade ins are, you know, uh, the same. Uh, relative to each other or to the clips that are adjacent to them or the one that you have uh, selected and uh, want to apply the fade in and fade outs so that's it guys for this tutorial in this tutorial I just wanted to teach you how the fade in and fade out behavior works in the multi track session and how you can apply a fade in and fade outs to more than one clip at the same time with that said i take my leave from you guys I will see you in the next tutorial, hopefully, goodbye for now.